Hey everybody from outside the Contemporary Resort, happy Christmas. Happy holidays. We're not going in a park, but we're still going to be spending our entire day at Disney. We're going to try to visit a few resorts, look at some Christmas decorations. We're also going to try and take every form of Disney transportation that exists. It's new, a little after noon now. We're going to go till dark or Jen gets tired. <laughs> no. No? No. Okay. We're doing it. All right, we're doing it. Let's go. So our first resort today, the Contemporary Resort, we're gonna go in here in the lobby. I don't think there's very much Christmas going on inside this resort, but we have uh, ADRs, or dining reservations, for Steakhouse 71. It's the newest restaurant here, the Contemporary, one of the newest ones at Disney, and I'm really excited to go in here and have some lunch. It's gotten really great reviews, so come on as we go and have some lunch. We made it into the restaurant. We're sitting at our table. We haven't ordered yet, but I think, I think we all know what we're gonna eat. And um, I'm getting hungrier by the minute. I just want cake. <laughs> Salisbury steaks. Mmm, Salisbury steaks. So we'll, uh, we'll come back when we get our food. So the appetizers made it to the table. We got a world famous bacon and egg. I don't know if it's world famous, but it's uh, it's got a reputation for being very very good. This was a uh, appetizer that was on the menu here when this restaurant was called the Wave, and when Steakhouse 71 took over, they kept this on the menu. It is pork belly with cheese grits and a perfectly poached egg. Our, our waiters instructed us to <laughs> on to, how to do it <laughs> on, on sort of to break the yolk and then sort of move it around within the grits. All right, so I'm gonna try the grits first. He said to get a little bit of that on it. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. I'm not sure what this flavor is yet. Pork au jus. It's odd because it's like sweet and savory at the same time. That's like really good. Yeah. So That's let's, like candy. <laughs> let's try the good. let's try the pork belly. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna try this as like all one bite. That's one of the best appetizers I've had in quite a long time. That's like that's like really good. Seal of approval from all just, three. Yeah, I should have just ordered this. <laughs> Can I get three of these? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so our entrees have arrived. Also. I got the uh, prime rib sandwich, which is pretty cut and dry. Prime rib, provolone, it's got some horseradish, and then I got some Parmesan fries. And then Jen and Tally both got the <laughs> Salisbury steak, which the, the waiter described as kind of like a throwback to the 70s. Uh, it was very popular back in the 70s. I mean, we've all had Salisbury steak. Um, but mushrooms and fried onions on garlic, on mash, garlic and mash and they both look the same. Um, this, we still gotta finish that. But yeah, uh, so far, not disappointed at all about this meal. <laughs> it's everything you want a steak sandwich to be. It's rich and it's buttery. The bread is crunchy. It's got great flavor. Is the meat tough on it? No. Mmm, it's farm rib. Yeah. That's a that's a definite do. How's um, how's the prime rib? I mean, really how's good. the Salisbury steak? It's good. Um, like the mixture of the meat is really good. It's not tough. Um, you can tell that they like actually ground it in house and make like the little patties out mm -hmm. of it. Um, and the mashed potatoes are really good. Tell you want to weigh in? It's like I feel like it's sweet. Okay, so great meal. Loved it. Fantastic meal. Jennifer just had to have cake. Yeah. She couldn't get out of the restaurant without having cake. Oh. What, what was, is it your birthday? No. Oh, wait, it's, it's, today's my birthday, by the way. I haven't mentioned that. Happy birthday to me. So this is all for me, right? Nope. This whole cake, this gigantic 15 layer chocolate cake is all for me, right? <laughs> and me. 
So we haven't really talked about what exactly it is that we're doing and what sort of the goal is for today. We mentioned earlier that we're going to resort hop and try all the, the transportation options. So the first thing we see after lunch is we're going to do the monorail loop. We just left the Contemporary on our way to the Polynesian. <laughs> then we're going to hit the uh, Grand Floridian. From there, we're going to take a boat over to Wilderness Lodge and then we'll fill you in on the rest. Polynesian Resort. I got my lay. Got my Hit the birthday button. Okay, I'm fully, fully decked out at this point. Okay, two, two resorts down. <laughs> now we just made it, made it to the Grand Flow. So we're now outside of the Grand Floridian, kind of walking the grounds. Jen saw some Alice in Wonderland, Matt had her stuff over here at the pool, so she wanted to go check it out. We come over here by the beach. So you can see the beach, the Seven Seas Lagoon, obviously cross over to the Polynesian. And then from this angle, you can't quite see it, but the Magic Kingdom would be over to your left right behind that building. So we've been to the Contemporary, to the Polynesian, and to the Grand Floridian. Looked at all the Christmas decorations. Now, next stop is Magic Kingdom, where we're going to get off at uh, the monorail station and then jump on a boat over to Wilder's, Wilder's Lodge. Lodge. <laughs>
we made it over to Wilderness Lodge. You know, back when I used to come here a lot, as a tourist, I would stay typically at moderate resorts, so I didn't see a lot of the deluxe resorts. Since I moved to Florida, I've been able to see a few, but there's some like this one, which I've always wanted to stay at, I've actually never been to. So today is uh, a good day. I'm getting to see a lot of resorts, and this one is beautiful. The lobby is grand. The tree here is beautiful. Glad we're getting to see it at Christmas time, but definitely want to come back, definitely want to stay here and explore this resort some more. We've done now Contemporary, Polynesian, Grand Floridian, and now Wilderness Lodge. Next form of transportation, we've already done the monorail, we've done the boat. Now it's time for the famous Disney bus. We're gonna head from here to Hollywood Studios. And in Hollywood Studios, we're not going to the park, we're jumping on the fourth form of transportation. You guessed it, the Skyliner. <laughs> we uh, made a pit stop and I moved from the couch that I was sitting on to this big comfy chair. We are at the uh, Geyser Point at Wilderness Lodge. We're gonna have a little quick drink and then, uh, then we're gonna move on. So we're on our third type of transportation today. Yes. We've already done the monorail, we've done the boat, now we're on the bus. This is my least favorite. On the bus to our fourth, which will be the what? Skyliner. Skyliner. We, we got on it, we'll just lodge, just opt it, the contemporary. We got a quick journey over to Hollywood Studios, or we'll then jump off the bus and get straight onto the Skyliner. Okay. We have made it to Hollywood Studios to transportation system number four, the Skyliner. Jen and I are old pros at the Skyliner, we love it. Tally's never been on it, so I think she'll like it all except for the flaming death part. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway. Oh look, Epcot, you can see Spaceship Earth. I said it right this time. I'm shocked by that. <laughs> That's why I turned the camera around. Wow. off of the Skyliner and uh, our fourth form of transportation today. We are now at the International Gateway at Epcot, walking the opposite direction. We're gonna walk over to the Boardwalk Resort and check, the, uh, check out the Boardwalk, see if there's any Christmas going on over there. Okay, so we didn't go inside the Boardwalk Resort, but we just would walk the Boardwalk. We're back at Epcot again, jumping back on the Skyliner. We're gonna head back to Hollywood Studios, and then from Hollywood Studios, we're gonna take a bus back to the Contemporary Resort, where the car is parked. But if we time it just right, we should be able to get there to see the Magic Kingdom's fireworks. So we'll see if that works out for us. That'll be a fitting in to a long resort hopping day. All right, out in front of the Contemporary Resort, back to where we started today. And we had a fantastic day. We went to the, all the monorail resorts, to the Contemporary, Polynesian, Grand Floridian, took a boat to the Wilderness Lodge. From there, we took a uh, bus over to Hollywood Studios, took the Skyliner over to Boardwalk, and then back to the Contemporary. Saw the fireworks here, saw lots of Christmas decorations, had a great, great lunch. And I, I, this has been a really, really fun day without even stepping foot in that theme park. So tomorrow is Christmas Day. Jen and I are going to uh, Magic Kingdom tomorrow. 
So we'll be bringing you along with us for that as well. But for today, thank you for coming along. If never lost, then never found. So go get lost.